We should see a core cavity extraction of this plastic part. A simple plastic part again, which consists of ribs. <coughs> so first is go to new manufacturing, select on mold cavity, assign the suitable name, then click on OK. Select the units as MMNS manufacturing mold ABS millimeter newton per second. Click on OK. We will be entering into a particular module under the mold tab. Under the mold tab, click on reference model, locate a reference model, then select on the reference model. I will be taking the same model, click on same model, then OK. Now we will have a preview. <clears throat> Always ensure the part has to be the core cavity extraction, the parting surface has to be in align with the pull direction. That's the best way to do. So here this is not the case, the pole direction is not aligned towards the core cavity extraction. We need to change the orientation. Changing the orientation is by clicking on the mold model origin and orientation reference model. Just click on this thing, go to dynamic and then along with the x-axis. Now just give on the angle 90 degree just check how the orientation is go for preview okay we need this thing exactly on the other side i'll be I'll, on the other end so what i'll do I'll just click on same thing go for dynamic click on 180 degree with few iterations we will be able to figure it out not to pick it in. yes this is now see so now the pull dial. So next step is just click on the workspace, automatic workspace. Click on mold origin. Click on the mold origin. Check what is the overall dimension. So this is x is 20. I'll take it as 30. And y maximum limits is 40. So here I'll take it as 60. Okay, have it 50. And the z total height is 12 mm. Here I'll take it as 25 mm. Fair enough. Have a preview. Okay. This is how the path. Here we are having next the shrinkage. When you just click on the shrinkage, we do have two options: shrinkage by scale and shrinkage by dimension. We will be going with shrinkage by scale, by which the entire model will be having a uniform shrinkage. We always prefer to use shrinkage by scale. Click on shrinkage by scale, add the suitable value for the coordinate system defined. Click on the coordinate system. Yes. Let's look at the model now. See there is there was a slight increase in the overall size of the initial reference model. Just click on OK and control G. By this thing we will be coming out from the command so next thing is just click on the workspace go to view model display component display click on wireframe so that you will not be seeing the workpiece again come back to the mold tab here we shall add, define our sill out curve just click on the sill out curve the creo will automatically identify the draft and takes the outer boundary there will be a line defined by it yes then just click on okay yes this is the parking line okay now what is that pull direction pull direction is correct it is this pull direction is the which has already been aligned then just click on the parting surface click on the parting surface go to skirt surface then what is the command we are having select a feature containing curve select on the curve then click on done see the preview yes and click on ok then click on the green icon over here ok so we are back so we have defined our sellout curve and then we are also defined our parting surface the next is reference part cut now 
click on the reference part to open yes this is done see this is done previous step and go over that now the mold volume click on mold volume volume split and select the entire mold volume the mold volume is with the, the initial workpiece whatever we created that is the mold volume so mold uh, from just click on the mold volume and then click on the see split surfaces split volume you have selected and what are the split surfaces click on the split surface and as you point your cursor towards the part towards the workspace we can see the surface just click on the parting surface we can select the parting surface by dragging our cursor towards the mouse or else we can also select our parting surface or split surface from our model tree once this is done go to volumes click on volume one see whatever what it is this is our core part double click specify it as core click on cavity the other one just check it out yes this is with our cavity cavity click to find as cavity and to volume cavity then click on ok after mold volume we will go with after having with mold volume we will go with mold component click on cavity insert select off all the cavities core cavity all the entities click on ok now we can see our core and cavity you can see our core and cavity separate way so after having this just click on create mold molding then assign a part create simulate part exercise 03 okay then just click on okay okay so what we shall okay but now we shall see the mold opening click on mold opening click on define steps then define move select the cavity ok click on the edge and specify the distance which is has to be moved this case i'll take 30 then again define move select the core part ok then select on the edge have it with minus 30 done okay pretty much done to remove all the unwanted identities unwanted uh, surfaces and lines we have to blank those parts just click on the icon over here mold display and click on the parts which you don't want parting surface i don't want to see the parting surface have it with blank mold volumes component i want to see my workspace blank then i we don't want to see our uh, reference part blank so we, we will be seeing core cavity and one more part so, this is the thing once this is done click on ok and open this is the same thing what it has been